Hello everybody. I decided that I am going to attempt to do a little um, um, going to share with you my opinions on a movie that I watched very recently. Now because of the intensity of the particular movie, I am not going to be able to actually sit and go through the entire movie with you. What I'll do is we are going to play the trailer and I will talk with you uh, about the situation of the movie. We will narrate it and um, We'll go from there, I guess. So let's get this some go. All right. So before we play the trailer, as you can see up here already, the trailer we're going to be looking at is to the movie called The Sadness. It is a Netflix original. <coughs> Pardon me. And, uh, well, we'll play the trailer and you can kind of get a little idea of yourself. Here we go. <laughs> okay. Now, as disturbing as the treaty itself was, um, that isn't even the half of it. This show is what made me want to watch the show was the simple fact that I was on my phone playing the game and up pops this ad. Now everybody hates commercials when you're playing a game on your phone, but this one caught my eye. So I thought, all right, I might look into watching this. So after I see this little commercial, which shows four people reacting to watching the show. Now myself, I am a fanatic for bad guys, girl. I love horror movies, plain and simple. So I thought, ah, they're overreacting. This is crap. We'll find out if this show is worth it. So what did I do? I found out it is a very graphic, very disturbing in, in many places, very grotesque, very nasty show. Now, it is kind of ironic that I decided when I saw the preview that I wanted to watch the show. Especially considering what's going on in the world right now. Um, the whole thing is based around, now there's been the mistake 
that people have said it's a zombie movie. This is not a zombie movie. Everything is based around a infection, a virus, aka COVID. So, watching this when we've got the whole COVID thing going on became very ironic, very holy crap, what if? Now, we've got your two main characters, of course, which it introduces right away. And their neighbor, who seems to be an absolute sweetie, a really nice person. And he's got a cold. Makes you feel bad for him because he's got a cold. Well, turns out it's not just a cold, it is this virus that is causing all this. And, uh, their, their neighbor turns on, on the, the guy. Um, a lot of stuff happens. And this is, this is, a <coughs> pardon me. This is definitely not the show that we want, uh, kids to watch. It is not kid friendly. My daughter is 17 and I don't really want her watching this. I'm hiding up in my bedroom with the door closed so she can't even hear. It is a very... I played the preview for my husband to me. He got grossed out. Um, unless you're someone like myself who is big time into blood, cats, gore, basically anything that I usually do body counts. To put it quite simple, this show, I, I dare you to watch it and give me a body count afterwards. Because I was doing my body count and then all at once everything all happened and went and there went my body count. So if somebody watches this show and if you can give me an actual body count I would love it. That'd be great. Just uh, leave it in the comments and let me know because I really seriously would like to know. And I'm one of those weird people, I guess you could say, when it comes to my horror shows. And um, yeah, it's this one I would rate R, 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 and I'm not trying to be a pirate. R. So. Uh, it is, it is Rx times 10,000, it is exaggerated, it is nasty. It's blood, it's guts, it's gore, and it's disturbing. There are some areas in it myself that I found extremely disturbing, simply because I'm a parent. And, oh heck, you don't need to be a parent in all honesty to find them disturbing, but they're not pleasant. So, if you and your friends see the, the preview, like what I saw, the little clip, and you're interested in watching it, this is a warning. If you are not big time into horror, or if you won't watch your classic horrors, you know, Friday the 13th, Nightmare on Elm Street, God Love Freddy, you know, your classic horrors, then stick to your classic horrors. This show, I will say, can it even give Saw a bit of a run for its money. So, fair warning, keep a, your eye open for the show, give it a try if you'd like. If you're not into blood, guts, and gore, do not, do not, do not watch it. Do not. Because it, it does have a storyline. It is a good show, in my personal opinion. But it is blood. It is guts. It is gore. It is disgusting. It is grotesque. It is deprived. It is... It's, you take anything and everything you might be afraid of happening. The show is basically, this virus makes people 
do the one thing they would never do. Ever. And when you think, just just thinking about doing that one thing you would never do. That's what the show is. So, if you're going to watch it, go for it. I hope you enjoy it. Uh, if you're someone who does watch horror movies, but you watch them like this, nope, don't watch it. If you're a guy and you want to watch it with your girlfriend so she'll be cuddling with you, she won't just be cuddling with you. She'll have her face buried in you unless she's like me. And she might even start crying. So, careful. Anyhow, again, the show's called The Sadness, and I honestly don't think there is a better name for the show. It is sad. It is disturbing. There's many things. But it's not something you laugh at, that's for sure. Anyhow, this is our first actual uh, episode here that we are doing using the the app that I found for recording like this so you can see what we're uh, <clears throat> what we're watching here along with my nasty looking little picture <laughs> so please let me know what you think of it and uh, if you're interested in us continuing doing this all right so I hope you enjoyed the show this is Shelley and this has been Shelly Speaks. Please subscribe, hit that little notification bell, and share. Have yourself an awesome day. And don't let the sadness. <laughs>